Hello, gorillas. I'm your boy, Chef Perry, the vegan gorilla. Today I'm gonna to, uh, do a recipe. I'm gonna uh, show you a little cutting technique, a little gorilla tip on how to dice an onion. I know, it sounds like, ah, I can dice an onion, I can dice an onion. And pretty much everyone can, but give me a little tip here to uh, dice it. You see a lot of chefs going across this way, across that way in a three cut. I'm gonna do it in two cuts. So, cut here is a parry knife, not parry knife, chef knife. My onion, my onion. So we got the stem, the root. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the paring knife. I'm just gonna add the tip on a 45, like so. I'm gonna turn the onion, rotate it. Till the tip comes out. I'm going to do the same with the bottom. Tip comes out, but it's still going to stay intact, so which is good. So then we're going to take a slice, do the length of the peel, and we're just going to take off the first layer. It's good to, I mean, aside from the skin, the first layer too, because it's usually a little bit slimy and wet, so um, you don't have to do that, but it just gives it a nice, fresh, clear peel to start with, so that's it. Look at that, you have a nice, nice onion here. There we go, nice onion. So I'm gonna show you a little trick next. Let's clear this off. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna slice it. Uh, it doesn't matter if you do root to top or top to root. We're gonna go lengthwise, okay? Right in half like that. And what we're gonna do, I wanna make a nice nice dice, so if you do a pico de gallo, uh, you wanna put some onions on top of a uh, burger and have a nice slice up a little bit, little, little bits and all sort of even. We're gonna take the onion, hold it. And I'm not gonna go right to the end and slice. So if you notice, I'm not cutting the whole thing down. Right, I'm gonna save just a little bit of the end so the root itself will hold the rest of the onion together. So. We make slices this way. I'm going to squeeze the onion together and separate on it. And here's where the trick comes <clears throat> You notice the natural ribbing of the onion actually already has, they're about a quarter of an inch wide and then grows this way from stem to top on, or root to top. So you already got that natural cut. A lot of chefs will cut this way again, and in that way to get that slice, you don't need to. So what we're gonna do, hold this together, squeeze it. Got the same increments. Viola, look at that. Nice even pieces. Just stuck together a little bit, but that's fine. But look at that. Pretty close, pretty even. Nice little bits. Beautiful. Huh? Slice the rest of that down. Put it together. See? And once you break them up a little bit, they all go in nice little pieces like that. I'm gonna take the rest. Put it that way. Simple, quick and easy. Nice half an onion. Diced. Beautiful. Look at that. And you think, oh, piece it together. Nope. You're just stuck together. Take them all apart, see? Look at that. Beautiful. That's one way. Which is, you know, a lot of people that struggle with the most. Another way, again, with the natural ribbing going the length of the onion this way, or the piece that falls out. You can just cut right across, and then you can go right to the root. You can almost line it up with the uh, rip, ripping itself of the onion. And the last 
piece. Okay. Look at that. Again, separate them all. They're nice and even. Now the lengths are slightly different because of the curvature of the onion, but as far as the uh, thickness, they're all the same because of the ribbing of the onions, right? All about Corbin Edge. So now you got a nice little thing for salads. You can put those in your salads and stuff. Or on top of pizza, whatever you want to do, on top of burgers. And that's it. So just a couple quick tips besides the crying part. Girls don't cry. Girls don't cry. Sometimes we do. And that's it. So, uh, hope this is helpful for you. And, uh, come up with a pretty good recipe, maybe include onions, maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, I don't see you again, or when I do see you again, I'm gonna stay in much love and be kind to everyone. Get it, chop it up. I'm gonna make pizza, using these. See ya.